So he cherry bombed it, smacked me in the face. With your bloody Rudolph nose? Uh huh. And I started bleeding from the pa the, the granuloma, um, and I got a bloody nose. No. So I was bleeding from two different places. Oh, God. <laughs> Welcome to the flip side and welcome to another episode of Super Mario Galaxy where this Luma, he just looks hungry. He's so hungry. Just not like just you. Hungry. Oh my gosh. Just He's like not as hungry you. as me. Well, I don't know about I that. I could have eaten a thousand star Whoa, bits. Whoa, that's a lot. That's how hungry I am. So no face cam today. Let us know if that makes you sad <laughs> <laughs> or if you don't care. We're still trying to figure out if we are going to do face cams permanently for these videos or not. Um, so let us know. Yeah. That answer to the questions. Giant eel outbreak. Giant That's like one of my eel. worst nightmares. No, it's not. Because it's probably going to happen in the water. Wow. Yeah. This looks like a night. Oh. That's a, a grandpa pingu. He looks like a samurai pingu. Speaking of the samurai, Jacob and I watched the Iron and Iron Chef episode. Oh my gosh, I had for no the idea. first time. I had no idea where you were going with that. <laughs> I was like, speaking of sam samurai, what? we should watch another one. It was that was fun. So funny. I had never seen an Iron Chef episode before. <laughs> They've got this guy who's like this, uh, the headmaster. Yeah. The it head, was awesome. And he was so, and oh. it was, it was so cool. They did like the, this little like sound effect every time he nodded his head and like <laughs> yeah. moved his head. <laughs> yeah. And they were so serious. And then there was this one Iron Chef. He didn't even speak English very well, so they had to literally well, use a translator for him. It's called Iron Chef America because I'm pretty sure normal Iron Chef was not from, from America. America. I think it was a Asian thing. Was it? I don't know. I think so. Why don't you Google it? Okay. Because I'm pretty sure Give Iron... Give me a second. Uh, they wouldn't call it Iron Chef America if, it, if there, there wasn't, wasn't an another Iron one. Chef somewhere else, I feel to like. To the interwebs. Give me Which a second. the interwebs knows everything. Let's see. Iron... Oh my goodness. Oh my Chef. gosh. I'm getting a little dizzy. Let's see. I don't really even know what I'm... Am I just supposed to be killing the eels? It was a Japanese television show, it there says. There you go. It started in 1993. I wonder if it's that same oh, guy. Oh, look at this picture. Um, I'm chasing an eel with a shell. Look at that picture. Oh, that looks awesome. It's like a bunch of them lined up in colorful suits of <laughs> iron chefness. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. I will tell you. If it's a oh, there's different adaptations of it. There's Iron Chef America, Iron Chef Thailand, Iron Chef Australia, Iron Chef Vietnam, well, I guess, Iron uh, Chef U UK. I guess if us humans have something in common, it's that we all eat food. Yeah, I so. guess that's true. What are you talking about, Jake? I don't eat. What are you doing? I'm killing these eels oh, to okay. death. I was going around and getting all the treasure chests, and I'm like, what did this have to do with anything? But it didn't. I was oh. just doing the wrong thing. Well, I saw that penguin jump into Wawa. Give me them star bits. Give me them star bits. Yeah, no, it was, a fun, it was fun, though. Yeah, it was. I a, enjoyed it. And Jacob and I were like, we would never eat any of this. But it's fun to watch them cook it. It was, and it makes me just feel horrible about myself. Hey, there is a full plate of raw chicken in there that you can feel good about yourself if you want to go cook it. Okay, I'll go cook it later. You won't, though. Yeah, I will. I'll go make myself some lo mein. Oh, yeah? Maybe. After the pizza that we just ordered? I didn't order pizza. What'd you order? I ordered pasta. Pasta? Pasta! Some pizza and pasta? Put it together, what you get? And, may and the noodles will be easy to eat tomorrow if I make my lo mein. Oh, no. <laughs> After my cavities. Oh, no. What? This episode is called Star Wars. What? I'm going to have to rename that file. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you are in the stars. Whoa, and I was just warring against some giant eels. Exactly. Wow, we're freaking nailing this, you know? Are we going to 100% this game? Yes. Okay. Which I know you're pumped about. I was just wondering. I can't remember. I know you don't like these games. That's not true. You don't like games in which you're not playing. And That's, then you. And then I also don't like the games <laughs> that I have to play. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. 
I'm you're a just, conundrum. You're just impossible to please. <laughs> I am an epidem uh, I'm anomaly. There it is. There it is. There it is. Yep. All right, well, let's go do a let's thing. Let's do another one. Oh, my face. Stop smacking your oh, face. Oh, Sarah, you're going to like this next star we got to do. Why? Because it's, Why? it's scurry. It's scurry? I, if it's the one then I think it's going to be. Then why would I like be. it? Because you like scurry things. What makes you think that? Oh, no. <laughs> Bye, Mario. <laughs> that did not quite work out the way I was hoping. Why don't you just go around? Oh, why don't you just... Munch. There we go. Okay. <laughs> See? Because Mario don't go around. Mario he go through go and around. over. Your nose. <laughs> your nose. Your nose. Don't you nose. I love your nose and your little divot. Oh, My man. little Rudolph. Thanks. You want to tell people about your no, Rudolph nose? No, I don't want to talk about Let's it. Let's talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Tell people about it. So I've got a little dent in my nose. It's adorable. And a little dot that looks like a freckle. It's a dentable. It's a dentable. It's a dentable. Um, and when I was in fourth grade, I got this thing called this a... This was not the star I was thinking about, by the way. Pyogenic granuloma, which is essentially a giant pimple that bleeds profusely at the slightest touch. Interesting. Yeah. Is it that was, like that thing I got on my neck that one time? No, nowhere near that. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, worse? Yeah, way worse. Like, literally, just the slightest touch, this thing would just bleed. Is there any pictures of that? I think my mom probably has something. I don't want to look at pictures of it online. No, Because that would be too gross. You'd get the extreme. Yeah. I you, would just like to see your I'm sure nose. it's in a scrapbook at my mom's house somewhere. Next time we're there, we go look for it if okay. you want. Okay, that sounds great. But... It literally just looked like a giant pimple on my nose. I had to wear a band-aid over my nose at school. Um, Aww. And How old were you, Gups? I was in fourth grade. Aww. And I remember You were I, probably so embarrassed. Oh, I got made fun of. That's why people call me Rudolph, though, because I had a red nose. Um, but the... I was playing dodge... Or not dodgeball. I was playing... Uh, f uh, what's the... Tetherball. That's what it's called. I'm like, what is it called with the string and the ball? But I was playing tetherball, and my mom was like, don't play tetherball at school because you might get hit in the face, and then it's going to bleed a lot. I didn't listen to her. <laughs> oh, no. You got whacked in the face? Well, and my friend. I was playing with a friend, and I was like, hey, don't, don't like, swing. Don't cherry bomb me because I'll get hit, and I don't want to get in trouble with my mom by making it bleed. And he was like, okay, I won't. Well, the game wasn't ending, and people were getting upset that we weren't, like, losing someone wasn't losing so he cherry bombed it smacked me in the face with your bloody rudolph nose uh -huh. and i started bleeding from the pot the, the granuloma um, and i got a bloody nose no. so i was bleeding from two different places oh god so my parents were like well we gotta get this we gotta do something of. about this girl <laughs> so originally we went to a dermatologist and they're like oh we can burn it off and it won't leave a scar and it won't hurt. Lies. Lies on both parts. Deceptions. I was screaming so bloody murder during that. that and I was awake during the while they were burning it. Yeah. That my parents like, you have to stop. Like, this is not working. So then they had to sedate me. And then they scraped it out, essentially. That's why I've got a divot in my nose. You do have a Because they scraped divot. it out. And that burning thing left a little freckle on my nose. <laughs> <laughs> so now I've got a dented, freckled nose. I love it. <laughs> it makes you you. And thankfully, it looks just like a freckle. But the, it was funny. Yeah, I was supposed to wear this, like, tape on the middle of my nose after the surgery to prevent scarring. But it would never stay on, so I ended up stopping <laughs> not wearing it anymore. <laughs> well, I think you look adorable. Well, thank you. I don't think you look like a reindeer. Oh, well, thank you. But yeah, so that that's the story of it. And it's a pyogenic granuloma is just a buildup of cartilage, essentially. And, and so you could have gotten it anywhere. And I always used to think as a kid, I'm like, imagine if I got it on my butt. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that would be horrifying. Right. But as a kid, that was all I could like. I was like, thank goodness I didn't get it on my butt. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you could get like a wart or anything like that on your butt. Right. And That'd imagine, be awful. But imagine this thing that bleeds constantly. <laughs> You'd have to like wear a diaper essentially. Uh, I mean, I've had a, a zit like on in between butt? my butt cheeks. <laughs> and it's so uncomfortable because you can't sit or move or anything without pain. 
<laughs> yeah, it's pretty rough. Yeah. So that it's was that was my train of thought as a kid <laughs> when oh that happened to me. Gosh. When they told me it could have happened anywhere, I'm like, You're oh. Like, anywhere? <laughs> anywhere? <laughs> Oh, you bye, Jacob. Wow, that gravity threw me off a little bit. <laughs> I wasn't quite expecting gravity to work that way. <laughs> All right, so I think the game wants us to take the path. Yeah, I think you should. Ugh. Okay, so one of those prankster comments. Remember those prankster comments? Yeah, I remember. Do you? Yeah. Do you? I do. Is there one here? Yes, and okay. it speeds everything up to, like, super speed. So, like, those, those, those guys will go up faster? Oh, yeah. They oh, move he's got a, an empty space. Yeah. Oh, you better move, dude. Well, there's a ledge right here, so he's gonna oh, turn around. Oh, okay. So we're stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Ooh. Oh, is he coming down here? Oh, Ooh. this was a close one. So, is the prankster comet already here in this area? No. So the prankster comet modifies the levels you've already done. Oh. So we okay. did a prankster comment like a couple episodes ago yeah, where we had to do a boss fight with only one health. Yeah, I remember that. You remember that? So, so this now, one gives you one health and it speeds everything up to like super you, speed. Do you have to beat this level before it does that? Yeah, I think oh, so. Okay. So you just got to use them openings, you know. Oof. It's pretty easy on this low speed here. Right. Uh-oh. Oh. Just... Just, here. just hang out there. Just hang out. Just hang out there. What do you think those dots on its head are for? Do you think it had polygemic graminolas? <laughs> Maybe. And he had to get them all removed. So Maybe. Oh! oh my goodness, what are you doing? Well, I had to re uh, possess the controller in my hand, and I guess in it just hand. came off a little bit silly. You know? Where are you going? That's not here. the way. This is not the way. Jacob, what are you doing? This thing was over here. It's making me sick. Yeah, making me sick too. <laughs> This game has that effect, I think. No, I'll just go around. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Come on, Sid. <laughs> I'm telling you, Sarah, I'm pretty good at this game, you know? I mean, I know you are, but it's still some nerve-wracking. And it makes the game even easier to play when you're telling stories. Oh, yeah? Because you, you can just concentrate on playing. That's right. And occasionally make comments. I think I made the same comment like four times during your story today. That's though. okay. You you kept saying it was cute. <laughs> I like your little divot. Yeah, that's pretty much all you said this episode. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just call this episode Sarah's Divot. <laughs> that sounds inappropriate. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Pio Drek Daniel Gloma Wa. I also said uh, on the stream today. Oh no. Uh, I was showing everybody your your water pipes that you made. Oh yeah, I was watching while you were doing. Yeah, it. and you I was like, it. let oh, me yeah. show you guys Sarah's pipes. pipes. And I'm like, yeah, I heard. I that. don't know if that's okay for me to say. And it's not the way that you said it sounded like um, they weren't super structure pipes already. I already went through and changed them all. Why didn't you hide them? I forgot to rehide them. <laughs> I thought you hadn't changed them. No, yet. I changed them. I. Too. But then, well, uh, here's the prank I was just telling you about. Com by the way. Uh, messaged me. Oh, yeah? Spudsies? Yeah, and told me about the reservoir, so I guess we'll see. I thought Noodles was telling you about oh, that. Oh, yeah, no, it was Noodles. Sorry. I don't know why I thought it was Spud. See, see how fast everything is? Yeah, I see that. <laughs> oh, I have three lives. Look well, at that. Why are you saying helps? it like, like that's a good thing? Yeah. Well, if it was just one, then I would die on my first hit. Well, that's not what this one is. This one's not about lives. It's about speed. 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 I am speed. You are. I am the knight. I am the knight. You know what's really weird and kind of fun? What? Is I remember this game being fun, but a lot of these prankster comments that we've already hit, I remember it being hard. Well, you're older. Your, your, your motor mo skills are more refined. I mean, I guess, because I feel like I'm blasting through this game. We haven't really run into any difficulties. What, well, what are you, don't are say you, are it too soon. Are you recalling a difficulty that we no. may have had? I don't know. Look Maybe. at this. Come on, son. Look at that. Oh. He even moved from me. <laughs> Thanks, He's buddy. He's so nice. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I remember that being much harder. <laughs> well, it wasn't. So, yeah. Same with that one. Uh, okay, so there's one boss later that we have to fight in a ghost level. Okay. And we have to use, like, bomb ghosts he send, uh, sends at us. And you have to, like, send them back? Yes. Okay. Essentially, you spin them around and you have to hit them with it. Okay. That boss fight in and of itself isn't too hard, but you have to do it with one heart, heart. for a prankster comment. Okay. And I remember that being hard. So it'll be interesting once we I, get to it to see I if it see, actually is. I can is. definitely see the 
the the, the, the one heart level. ones. Yeah. The hardest. Yeah, those can be tricky. Just because anyway, you can't mess up. This is going to be where we end the episode for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah. See, look, I told you it showed you where there's a secret star. Oh, is that That wasn't it? showing up before. Now it Interesting. is. Interesting. Very good. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you're having a fantastic day. We will see all of you on the, the flip, flip side. side.